Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wolfle0 and welcome back to another episode of How to Minecraft here on the How to Minecraft server. Hope you guys are having a great day and we are dipping into our second building contract as this episode. We got a dandelion build from Brandon before I went to London Minecon and uh, well, I need to get it built really quick or else my seven day window will close and I will owe him $25,000 which we can't necessarily afford after giving him pretty much all of our money at the casino. Oh actually as well as Lachlan all of our money at the casino. So we're going to be working on the build. So I've been hanging around his place for a pretty decent amount of time just kind of getting a little bit of a feel of the area and uh, just seeing kind of what he would need. Oh man there's a lot of stuff that I think he could get upgraded. His furnace room not looking so hot but I don't really think that he uses it that often as well as I mean it looks good like this I love this like this depth and stuff is phenomenal just the um yeah I guess the furnaces are just kind of basic and nothing really to it so anyways I'm just I'm totally being extremely critical of this place I really like it it's super cool walking around and just seeing how it like has grown over the over the obvious you know weeks and weeks and weeks of work uh, all these little rooms that are being added and stuff that have their own little purpose I think is adorable and I'm a really big fan of this place I'm not gonna lie I think it's awesome really top-notch now I was just like thinking this place doesn't really need any work I mean it's kind of perfect uh, I I mean he'll slowly add and, and do his own things and PD hut will take care of all of that and uh, make it better and better and better now the one thing oh the fancy pants this is where this is where it all went down I think it's where the assassination went down scary that's scary uh, so the only thing that I uh, you know could think of that he could work on or needed work on would be uh, something that he hasn't quite touched yet Ooh, look at it a little party scale something that he hasn't quite touched it which is going to be actually at the bottom of his hut i don't really want to mess around with his hut and you know that's the pd hut and i'm not going to do anything towards it you know i don't want to i don't want to endanger the awesomeness of it so what we're actually going to do is uh, we're going to clean up his beach you know, I, I think that's a pretty fair, fair pretty fair, 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 I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, this doesn't need work, but I think this area right here, this entryway to his spot requires a little bit of work. So we're going to go ahead and, and break the sand down. We're going to play some sand. We're going to uh, kind of just give this whole section a rework and make it look a little bit uh, cleaner because it just, it needs a little bit of work. Look, like, I mean, look at this here. I don't think we're going to dip that far as to playing around with over here, but all of this section here where his stuff is, is coming into and the, uh, the initial spot here we'll get a little bit of a rework now we're supposed to do pretty much a 25 by 25 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 all the way to here as well as all the way down to here so this whole area we're gonna turn into something special so I am going to do a little bit more thinking I will see what's up but obviously if you guys are excited for how to Minecraft and want to see you know see it pumping out as as much as it was before Minecon let me know hit that like button down below and we'll be doing a ton of these awesome episodes well I mean it's been going pretty good. I've been I've been thinking about doing pretty much daily. So it's all all thanks to you guys and all the support that you guys have been tossing out towards the series. So let's get to work. Let's do some building. Let's do some thinking. And I will see you guys in a second. All right. So I have a little bit of an idea of what I would like to do. Unfortunately, it's raining. So QQ all my tears. But pretty much first thing is we actually got to do something slightly illegal. And we're just going to clear out this sugar cane. I'm so sorry, dude. Don't get mad at me, Brandon. Oh, God. Goodness builds is wrecking his economy, man. We're so totally gonna get in trouble it's it's gonna be awful but I have a very hard time believing that uh, Brandon actually needs any of that sugar cane so I'm just saying oh that beacon with haste though yeah I like it I like it damn that's gonna make this work a lot faster so the idea that I that I kind of have is uh, we're just gonna get a nice little open I don't want to say garden more so what's the word that I'm looking for here a specific way uh not not a garden not a not an opening either more like just a I don't know kind of like a fountain with a nice little middle with a nice little path. I guess we'll see kind of how it goes, right? But anyways, so it's going to be going obviously from here and uh, we actually might want to have this sanded up here. Here. And now the building blocks for this build is quite simple. We got uh, jungle leaves. We have a uh, jungle, uh, jungle, jungle wood. We got some glowstone, some stone bricks, some mossy cobblestone, some gravel, a couple flowers, and some water. And that's what we're going to be pretty much starting with. Now, we obviously might be getting some more things uh, as we progress, but for now, 
this is what we're gonna be working with and uh, I don't think we'll need much more this should be this should be enough so all right now the way this is gonna work is I mean we're, we're kind of coming off on a weird angle right we're coming in midway but also not really midway uh, I'm not really entirely sure if we want to just kind of have it open up maybe even have like a nice curl so it kind of you know the path kind of comes here and then you know you can enter this way or you can wrap around type of thing uh, maybe we want to get a little bit of, uh, of a dock going here just something pretty simple and basic with some boats I brought a whole bunch of wood so I can actually make some boats and go that way which I think will be kind of cool actually it might, it might actually add something to it make a little bit of a harbor which I think would be kind of cool so if we actually go ahead and uh, and just kind of even this out type of thing we might be able to get something pretty cool and just kind of clean clean this area up a little bit make it look a little uh, make it look a little better I don't know uh, I don't mean better man I'm sorry Brandon oh god the the difficulties of building in someone's place so um, either way I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna do get let's just get some playing fields laid out you know what I mean get some playing fields laid out wait for this to stop raining and go from there all right so I've done some laying out of some things it's looking pretty good <laughs> kind of oh god this is gonna be tough uh, but yeah I got some of these kind of like just areas to work with so I've kind of sectioned them out with this dirt just to give us an idea of uh, well, not really what we can do, but what we have space to do. I have three spots, three plots now. I got this one over there, this one over here, and then a cute little harbor one, which we actually might want to make a little bit bigger. So I was thinking we might actually want to, like, cut this, right? So we got our dirt here. Ooh, am I out of dirt slash home? Go ahead and just grab a whole bunch more. I think I have some in this chest. In which chest? In this chest. There we go. Wow, do I not have... I gotta have more dirt than that. Let's go. Where you at? Where you at? All right, so slash back. So I was actually thinking about maybe even, like, Doing like this and then just kind of going like this and then like one, two, three, four, five, right? And then this will give us a pretty decent space to, to work with so we can have some kind of um, actual build. I suppose for the uh, for the harbor here. Uh, nothing crazy, obviously, but just something cute and uh, that works out here. Um, and it has got it's got some depth, you know. It's got some interesting uh, some interesting ways. And you obviously have the path coming this path coming this way, path going this way. Uh, obviously, heading into here, we'll build something cute, maybe like a tree or maybe a little garden over here. Um, I think that'll look quite nice. And uh, yeah, that should be. Pretty much, uh, pretty much it in terms of the planning of this thing. Uh, not really sure what else we could fit. I'm thinking about having. Uh, so this is well, this is the style. All right, so I'm gonna start doing it right now, and it's gonna be uh, gravel and stone bricks uh, mixed together. So to create kind of like this uh, this interesting path feel, and so that's gonna come on down like so. Uh, I think we'll we'll throw it down a little bit. Maybe right, maybe right here. We'll we'll bring it down uh, just a bit and uh, knock all the sand away. Just to give us uh, a little bit more room to work with and, and bring it down by one. Uh, throw some stairs all up in there, so let's just do some craft here. And uh, for that, we'll just do the uh, the classic cobblestone stairs. Just a, a nice simple, a nice simple. What are we doing here? One, two, and then we'll do. Throw that in there. Let me see here. All right, so I've actually gotten rid of the gravel and replaced it with sand. <laughs> I was kind of running out of gravel, and also I was like, you know, it doesn't really look too good. It kind of doesn't stay with the with the work. And I actually, I find that sand works quite well with the wood. Now, uh, the actual staircase leading up to this part is going to be stone for now, so stone and cobblestone, as well as parts of the pathway as well. Now, I might switch that around and do some work with it, but for now, that's what it's going to be. And now, like, I could do... Oops, I I wonder how cobblestone would actually work in this situation and uh, I don't know how I feel about it but uh, we can go ahead and, and, and throw a little bit of it in there just to kind of see how it sits alongside the rest of the bit here. Eh, I think it's okay. I think that's okay. Let's see here. Let's let's get a full a full range here and see uh, see what it looks like. Place place and ooh, ooh, uh oh we got a super breaker super breaker. Yeah. Clean 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 clean. Oh yeah. All right, sweet level 204. When do we I think we start getting diamonds at 200? So we got quite a ways to go, but nonetheless, we're getting there. So I think that looks pretty good for now. Now, don't worry. I know it looks a little weird. Uh, it needs uh, quite a bit amount of work, so don't worry. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna get on that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is I want to kind of really situate the path, and that's the most important part. And the way we're gonna do that is we're actually using glowstone and uh, jungle leaves, which is I think gonna be a really nice combo. And these jungle leaves are gonna be placed alongside pretty much all of this, and then sometimes up by one, just like this. So it's gonna be quite nice, uh, I think so. And oh, we gotta use our goodness thing here. We, wanna, we don't really wanna waste anything, so it's gonna be just like that. I think it's gonna look really cool. Uh, and sometimes maybe we can even like throw in a an extra one. Can you not, dude? Oh, jeez. All right, and we're gonna even sometimes throw in an extra one, just like this. I'm giving this tree a haircut, yeah! 
What's more than life than giving a tree a haircut? Oh god, this is so long. Oh, someone save me from the grind. Uh, I've actually started using this now for the past to make it look a lot better. And I think it looks real good. We got some glowstone going on beneath. It is looking fresh. But the only issue is that we need a lot of these jungle leaves and I do not have silk touch shears and I do not feel like making them And that is because I am lazy and because I am lazy I'm actually making this work harder for myself and thus perpetrating my laziness in the most negative way possible But that's okay because that is the conundrum of laziness Oh god again dipping into the deep dark known of the human psyche in this how to minecraft episode I'm just gonna go ahead and, and whoa and just uh, you know maybe calm down Maybe not get so intense. I feel like just giving the haircut to this tree is making me really look at my life. You know, really retrospectively look at, at everything I have accomplished as I sit here trimming the hair of a tree. Not saying there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's cool. That's cool. That's what you do. I just didn't think that the one job I'd get would be this. You know what I mean? Oh, and uh, let's just, you know, eliminate the full tree from existence so that it can never talk. About the day that Wiffles trimmed its hair. Uh, how much do we have here? Okay, so that's that's a pretty good amount. Let me show you guys the progress that I have done so far. Looking pretty good. I mean, looking like it needs a lot of work, but looking pretty good. So um, obviously we gotta we gotta get to work and do a lot more on this on this build. But uh, so far I'm liking the way it's going, and uh, we just gotta we gotta do a little bit more stuff. That's all. That's all. Let's go take a little bit more work. But check it out. So we have these uh, these trees. It's not nighttime, but if uh, if you look closely. There's actually a glowstone beneath here, which will light this up quite nicely, I think. My only issue is I'm actually wondering if the jungle leaves are a lot harder to penetrate with light than the oak leaves. And if so, should I be using the oak leaves for simply these areas so that it shows a little bit more? You know what I mean? That actually kind of might look pretty good. So, for example, here... And there, it gives it a little bit of a different look, a little bit of a different dimension there. And I think that's actually what we might do. I think that looks, it looks good. We got like that depth to it, you know what I mean? We got these, these different types of, of leaves kind of coming together quite nicely, uh, giving it just a nice, a nice uh, overall look. So anyways, um, <laughs> it's, always just, it's always just in good fun, guys. Always in just good fun. So let's go ahead and do a little bit more work here. Uh, I'm going to get some, some things made. So far, this path is looking pretty good. Uh, I think we'll obviously have to add a couple things and uh, do something here and do something there and do a little bit more work overall. All right, so the path is really coming together. I just got to sit on my legs real quick. Hey, <laughs> yeah, boy, and uh, check it out. So uh, we have some nice high hedges here, which I think is pretty nice. We got all the uh, glowstone beneath it, so on and so forth. I've covered this all up in grass, and I've made this a little bit bigger so we can do some, uh, some cool stuff with it. Now, uh, what I wanted to do with this area is a little bit difficult, but I wanted to make something using the jungle leaves. Now, I only have a stack. I'm obviously gonna have to get more, but I wanted to kind of make like um, like an actual hedge. These are cute and all, but I wanted to do like some modern art hedge creation. So I know it sounds a little bit weird, but I'm gonna try that with you guys right now, and let's see what we can come up with here. So um, I'm gonna do a base first, and what's gonna happen with this base is it's actually gonna increase in size. Uh, so it's gonna get pushed up just like this, and uh, it's kind of gonna go like this. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. And uh, we're just going to kind of make a spiral hedge thingy, my bobber. Uh, not really sure what it's called. And then we'll go from there. I think it's going to look relatively cool. <laughs> um, and we're going we're gonna to see we're going to see what happens with it. We're going to see what happens. We're going to play it by ear. So, we're going to kind of go like this. Let's kind of go like that. Uh, let's up it by one. And uh, just kind of modern art, you know, we're just doing some modern art here, boys. And this is this is what's fun. This is the cool thing about Minecraft is we can actually make these things and uh, and not feel bad about it because Minecraft is flipping awesome. So it comes down here and then we'll make it come around like this. And oh, let's just increase that up by one. It's a little bit too low. Uh, this probably will look like absolute poop, but we'll have a little bit of a better idea. We can obviously remake it. Uh, let's... Ooh, all right, all right, a little bit of an issue. Um, I want to kind of have this go even, so let's go, I mean, odd. Let's push this out by one and then have this come over. This will give us the opportunity to come down the middle, like so, and stop, come back around, and link. All right, cool. Wow, that's actually not bad. I, I actually kind of like that. Uh, look, we can make it a little bit more deep. And by deep, I don't know, like, I guess thick by maybe adding some more layers and not having it all just one. And uh, work on it a little bit. This is going to be a lot of fun. Let's do it. 
All right, so it is complete. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dom, da, dom. It's interesting. I had a lot of fun making this. I'm not going to lie. Now, whether or not I change this to a different type of texture, I think it just looks really cool, though. I'm not... I mean, it's raining out, so it's hard to see, but it just it adds some interesting dimension to the overall build here. And you're not really sure what it is, but it's kind of modern art, you know what I mean? And I, I like it. I don't know. We'll see. Obviously, goodness builds will come and fix anything, which people are not a fan of. Uh, so if Brandon doesn't like it, then I will go ahead and fix it, no problem. So uh, up next, we got to just go ahead and do the little harbor here. So what we're going to do is, is a pretty simple one. Uh, we're just going to make a little bit of a dock going on right here and uh, pretty... Pretty easily just kind of make a cute little uh, spot for boats to you to hang out and chill and be, you know, make friends and that sort of thing. Uh, pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So uh, the only thing we need is uh, we'll do some jungle wood uh, slabs. So we'll get a whole bunch of these bad boys. We'll do slash craft. Let's just get some slabs going. Boom, headshot. And uh, this is just going to be what we use for the actual dock here. And a nice little one, two, three, four, five by five for this build. Pretty easy peasy, um, and let's go ahead and just get it done. All right, guys, we are putting on the finishing touches for the harbor, and it is looking pretty fresh, if uh, if I don't mind saying myself. Check this bad boy out. We got some cool, cute little chests and stuff like that. We're going to get some slabs going. Uh, everything is looking quite nice. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no, that don't look so good. <laughs> um, so we got our cute little slabs going. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Uh, anyways, we got our... Cute little item frames. We'll throw some, you know, some stuff in it. So we got like some food and all that jazz. It's looking pretty cute. What do you guys think? It's got a nice little pattern. We got some dark, uh, dark wood, the dark oak wood and the jungle. I think really came together quite nicely. And this is one, two, not long. Hmm. That actually would be the pattern. Okay. So it uh, comes in here. It comes into the path. I closed off the path from this way. And uh, you have this cute little area that'll bring you over to this side, which is where all the other farms are, uh, into here, which will bring you up to the actual base with the nice little thing on the left. Now, the only thing that uh, needs to get done is this little area here, which is obviously going to be the little bit of the flower garden, guys. Absolutely. You know that's necessary. So we'll open this up a little bit and uh, we'll get this going. So I'm thinking just having a little bit of a fountain over here uh, leading out of this wall. Boom, just like this. Get some flowers going, get a little bit of a tree going, that sort of thing. Get the moose's butt looking all nice and fancy. And overall, just some uh, little more touches that need to get uh, that need to get done. Just uh, little things here and there just to make this place look a little cooler. You know what I mean? Just just easy peasy stuff. Uh, no big no big deal. Uh, we're going to get to work, get that going, and I'll see you guys in just a second when and uh, we are pretty much donezo with uh, this build. Oh, yeah. Almost done doing the finishing touches to the extra area uh, at the end there. It's, it's all right. I mean, there's nothing special, as you can tell. Just got a little bit of a flower, uh, a little bit of a flower patch here. Um, just some water going. I'm just going to build a cute little tree. I'm not the best at building trees, but... Uh, we'll give it a try here. A, a very, very, very small one uh, is what we're going to do. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess that's a tree. Oh, man. That needs so much work. Okay, hold on one second. Oh, trees, man. Trees are tough. That is, it's not easy to make a tree. Let's be honest, all right? So let's, uh, let's increase this size by a couple more. Let's just do one, two. All right, there we go. All right, let's get rid of these bottom. I see you, creeper. No, 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 no. Well, you were in water, so it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? You were going to get wrecked either way, my friend. All right, so then we just do like this. And let's uh, let's go ahead and, and give this guy a little bit of... Uh, I want to kind of emulate maybe the circle feeling that uh, Brandon has. So it'd be three uh, like this. We'll push it out a little bit. One, two, three. And maybe a little bit more. One, two, three. And then we'll go out by one. That gonna work, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, aha, and then out by one. Oops, should work, maybe, maybe not. Oh god, I'm a little terrified. One, two, three, uh, two, three. Oh, almost, almost. Who knew? Who knew that placing leaves would be so much fun? All right, and then out by one. This might be a little bit too big, but YOLO. YOLO, bro. All right, and like this, and like that. All right, cool. So we have a cute little platform here and let's go ahead and just do like this uh, so we gotta get we gotta get some more stuff going but overall i think it's looking pretty fresh if you ask me this whole little area is coming together quite nicely oh no we are out of 
Hmm, we are out. Uh, the first thing I want to do, by the way, is uh, just a nice little touch. I cleaned up all the sand here. Uh, just, you know, added a little bit of more of a layer here, so it just looked a little bit cleaner. We could just kind of do a little bit more touching up with some uh, slabs here, which I think will also make this look a lot better. So just in, some little slab touch-ups uh, overall. Just give it some dimensions to slash craft. And I love the dark oak wood. It's like one of my faves. It's one of my faves. It's just such a pretty, it's a pretty thing to work with. That's for sure. All right, so place, place, place. Sorry, Piggy, you got to go. Uh, break your face down and then like that. You know what? Let's go ahead and replace this with some glowstone in all the corners. Uh, glowstone, and then that one looks a little weird. Let's go ahead and keep that to jungle wood. <laughs> Let's go ahead and not touch that. All right, um, and get something up here. Voila, perfect, lovely. Oh, this is looking so good. Uh, and this <laughs> this tree needs some serious. TLC, man. This tree needs some serious TLC. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, we'll do some uh, some oaks, and oh man, I'm gonna definitely have to get some more uh, some more stuff. What I could do is I could kind of just you know artificially give it some some depth, which is just using the oak slabs and just overall some other stuff just to kind of make this look a little bit better than how it looks. You know what I mean? So let's let's try a couple things. So if we do this, and then if we do uh, jungle wood on the inside. Uh, hold on one second. Let's see here. Play around with this real quick just to see what we can come up with and uh, see if it'll be a horrendous mess. Maybe be the truth and the one and only best build ever. Just saying it's a possibility. Uh, all right, let's see how this looks. Probably way too flat, but actually it looks not bad. That actually looks not bad. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. So there you have it, guys. Um, I think that's pretty much the uh, the rest of the build. I might do a couple more things off camera uh, before Brandon gets on, but uh, that's going to be it. I think it looks really lovely. Oh, you know what we do need? We do need some more flowers, obviously, guys. Uh, that's kind of the big thing. We need some more flowers, obviously. All right, so let's go ahead and get that real quick. I got all my flowers uh, right here, and let's do... Oh, these are going to look so pretty. Oh man, okay, there we go. So uh, let's go ahead and place these down to one and slash back. And let's get a couple of these bad boys all up in here. Make this a proper, proper Flower King spot. Oh, beautiful. Get some lilacs in there. This is, this is what it's all about, guys. This is what it's all about. So there you have it. Uh, a nice little flower spot overall. I think this is quite nice. Um, big fan. You know, some might consider this an improvement. Some might not. Uh, you know, I think we'll, we'll, our, I think our work here is done. Got a little bit of modern art, got a little cute tree, got the moose still hanging out there, got the hedges going, got a nice little dock, all that stuff, all done and completed. And that is going to be this episode of How to Minecraft. No dungeon today, we'll do two tomorrow. I will see you guys later, take care, and goodbye.